but during this time, all you had was Milton Berle and Gorgeous George. So George influenced tons and tons of, uh, of a generation of people. Here you see a little action. This is it here, work. Jerry. Uh, now, okay, uh, uh, what, well, what's this move here? I mean, this is usually when you apply the Indian death lock, you're applying it with your legs, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. But he applies it with his arms, John, and does an actual handstand for, for the win there. To me, I, I could, my, my legs were so fat and uh, muscular that I never could apply that Indian death lock. And I tried and tried and tried and tried. I, it was the first finish that Leroy McGurk told me to get. To use. <laughs> and I couldn't use it because my calves were too damn big. And, you know, uh, it, would, it was hurting me more than it was hurting. It was hurting the other guy, too, but it was hurting me more. The Indian so death lock, very few people use it now. You know, it's kind of an underneath figure four, and you can, you can really work it, uh, work the hold, uh, if, you, if you can get it on. If you can get it on, and also, uh, you know, I'll probably be called out on this, but I think Bret Hart's sharpshooter was 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 kind of a deviation from from the Indian Deathlock. It certainly looks like it is, because that's how you hook the Indian uh, Deathlock. I'd never seen it done with a handstand until I saw this tape. Have you ever seen it done with the uh, with the arms and with the handstand? It's kind of like kind of like Charlotte Flair does with the the figure eight now, going off to figure four. No, I have not. That was the first time I'd ever seen the handstand. I mean, I, it, it, that just shows you the athletic ability of, 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 uh, of Eagle. 